Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, today we are going to do a special little reading to finish out the month. Um, this is really, uh, what am I calling it, a uh, person on your mind, but this is the soulmate edition. So I'm really looking at soulmates. Um, and the reason why I'm really pushing soulmates lately is because I felt way back in January that um, a lot of soulmates, you know, that we're going to last a lifetime, not just because we have different soulmates for different reasons, you know, different levels of love. Um, so I'm really looking at your romantic soulmate that, um, I don't know, I kind of feel like you're meant to be with or you will be with. And I, I'm not just looking at anyone. I'm looking at someone that... Um, hopefully you can spend the rest of your life with. So I'm going to ask six specific questions. Um, number one, your soulmate subconscious thoughts about you. Number two, your thoughts on them. Uh, number three, 2024's potential of meeting or coming together. Um, number four is did we love here or a past life together before? Um, number five is divine's energy in supporting this union. And number six, I'm going to take a major arcana that is really connecting, excuse me, connecting um, the two of you. So we'll use the major arcana for that. Let's put those aside for a second. Um, I did bring out the romance angels also, so I may take a few of these over the reading. And really what I'm going to do is um, I'm looking for two different perspectives. So I'm going to like double it, if that makes sense. Mm, let me let me make room for myself. So again, we're going to double it. Um, we're going to use a Gilded Tarot to really go below the whole reading. Put those to the side. And so for the main spread or the main questions, we're going to use the good tarot along with the psychic tarot. So we'll ask the same question, but I'm going to do two sets of cards, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle them. And while I'm doing that, every by the way, everything's always pre-shuffled. But while I'm doing that, my advice is just to calm your mind ask your spirit guides to send you signs of confirmation you know the reason why i do this for like all signs is because i really believe we're we're one big soul family here so i feel like a lot of us experience the same things you know maybe at different times um but we can definitely i feel like we're here to help each other all right, so that's the good tro. And then let me just give the psychic tro. I'll shuffle. One more. All right, and let's set everything to the side. To bring the lid down not too much all right so calm your mind just let go of control you know if you know who your soulmate is think about them in the most loving of ways um i just feel like that helps like that helps connect you also like intuitively All right, so I'm just going to give you a minute. And let's begin. So, number one, your soulmate subconscious thoughts about you. We're going to start with the good tarot. Interesting. Patience. This is temperance. This is about divine timing. You know, temperance does ask for patience. But that's really so all good things can come together. And I have to tell you, many of you must have heard me talk about 
really what I feel like tempers one of her roles is. And I feel like that is making sure that both the soulmates cups are equally filled. And that's what the patience is and the divine timing. You know, also with patience or temperance, it, to me, it like means I can kind of just breathe. I can let go of control. I can believe the divine is working to bring us together. You know, I feel like if it's meant to be, it will be. Now, we do a free will. So, you know, we got to get through that. But other than that, this is a great image um, or a great, great omen. Your soul made subconscious thoughts about you. So they must think of you in a divine way. All right, well, let's take um, the psychic tarot. Actually, I'm going to bring them up a little bit. And same question. So your soulmate subconscious thoughts about you. Look at this. Hello. Ace of Wands. Passion ignited. Um, you know, the, the Ace of Wands is an action-oriented energy. But look how this person's heart chakra is being activated. It's kind of feeling like closer and closer to divine timing if you ask me. So someone's heart chakra is being activated, but I'm just going to assume with temperance right below, it's talking about both of you. It's talking about the soulmates. Beautiful. Well, what a way to open up the reading. All right. So what's your subconscious thoughts? And I say subconscious, you may be consciously thinking this also, but um, I'm asking it in a way that it's really coming from your soul. So your thoughts on them. Hmm. Two of wands. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Interesting. You have the ace of wands here, but again, it's really them. And then you have the two of wands. You know, it's like you're saying automatically. Yes. I don't know if I should say automatically, but I definitely feel like this is energy you're going to feel. I don't know how you couldn't. And I love that Empress is the one who's opening up this whole reading. Because again, it's all about divine timing. And with the Ace of Wands there, I feel like that should give you some comfort knowing that you will be guided. You know what I mean? And this guidance could be, you know, it's going to come as like signs I often feel that energy like, you know, I'm driving down the road or I'm or I'm about to go somewhere and I'm about to take a right. But my intuition is like, no, take a left, take a left. So I listen and lo and behold, somehow I meet this soulmate. Now, some of you may already know who this person is. So, you know, it's like you walk into Walmart and like, oh, there they are again heart chakras being activated the two of wands me it feels like i'm ready to take a step forward but let's go ahead and take the psychic tarot with that also moving on moving on now i have to tell you i like this also because when you see the six of swords at least the way i read it is i feel like you have to go back one card you got to understand what is it that I'm moving on from? Well, that would be the five of swords and that's toxicity. Whatever that may mean, it can be a million different things. It can be our thoughts. You know what I mean? It could be people. And for some of you, it probably is people. So you're clearing up the toxicity. It's not affecting you anymore. And by the way, six and a two is an eight which is about a new beginning. It's also the number of infinity as above, so below. I like that a lot. All right, so 2024's potential of the two of you meeting or maybe even coming back together. We have the Seven of Cups. Interesting. And let's just go ahead and take the psychic tray right above that. Look at this judgment. 
truth. But let me tell you what judgment is about. Judgment is calling you to the present moment. Um, calling both soulmates to the present moment. This is about a rebirth. Um, judgment calls you to the present moment because this is where your signs are sent. You know, I'm um, just always focusing on the past or trying to project myself too far out in the future. I could miss some of these signs. Now, your guides are very good. They're going to find a way to get, you know, for you to notice that sign. Or if you think that, hey, wait a minute, was that just a sign? Ask for your guides to send it again. It's definitely showing you how divine is really connected to, well, not just one pair of soulmates, but all of you. <clears throat> so, present moment energy. And then you have the seven of cups under that. You know what that makes me feel like? And, and I felt this in, I think I did a soulmate reading where I felt that um, you may meet someone during um, a day that just feels chaotic. You know, like a day that's like, ah, uh, everything is up in the air. Even your emotions. Seven of Cups is about making a choice, right? But the Two of Wands being right before that makes me feel like the answer's already yes. So I guess where maybe the mm, the worry of choosing a cup, well, that would have to do with the past. And that's probably why the Six of Swords is here. You know, it would it would best serve you to be able to put toxic energy behind you. Again, whether it's a relationship that's just not working, um, your thought system, you know, maybe you allow yourself to go to this negative headspace and you just, you know, judgment's just saying be truthful with yourself. Be as honest as you can. You know, divine timing also. Maybe part of it is, you know, both these soulmates like stopping, looking around, you know, looking at the people in their life, the situations in their life. What do I want to keep? What do I want to let what do I want to let go? You know, we have some very special planetary energy coming up. And um I feel like that's only gonna help. Also, I also feel seven is a very spiritual number. So these soulmates are being called to the present moment. The heart chakra is being activated. This may have been after a period of like a stretch of time. I don't want to say you were alone because for some of you, I feel like it's about, you know, potentially a current relationship or a recent relationship where you just got to let the cobwebs of that go. You know, it's like being free and clear. Okay, um, did we love in this lifetime or in a past life, in a past lifetime, did we love each other? You have the three of pentacles. I have to say it is one of my favorite um, cards as it relates to a love reading. And then let's take the psychic tarot. Look at this movement, choices and decisions. Another two. It's like your spiritual team is saying, get ready. Get ready to make this movement. Um, if if it's what you choose, you know, you can say no. Seven of Cups is kind of like that free will energy. You know, am I gonna am I gonna allow or am I not gonna allow to each their own, right? It's like your spiritual team's not gonna make you do anything. Um, however, I feel like the energy is going to feel pretty strong. So, you know, but let's talk about the three of pentacles for a second, because to me, the three of pentacles means that somebody already recognizes your soul, your individuality. And I feel like this is for both of you. And I'm just noticing these two twos. So I feel like both soulmates are making Eventually, let's just say some type of movement. But the question is, did we love in this lifetime or a previous lifetime? You know, if you just look at this image, it's like 
these wedding bands that seem to be coming out of this wall. And to me, it feels like a past life. This could talk about really a serious commitment, maybe even marriage in a past life. But I feel like the recognition of each other's soul, no doubt. Um, <clears throat> also, I want to say I, I get this feeling like there will be no need to wear any type of mask. It's like I am going to be loved for exactly who I am, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, none of us are perfect. We were born imperfect, and we have to be okay with that. You know, try to find a way to be okay with that anyway. Um, but this is telling me that, yes, there is definitely soul recognition. So I know for sure that you lived a past lifetime together. Or another way of saying that is you loved in a past life. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Okay, let's go ahead and... Bring in the major arcanas. So now we want to see what is the major arcana that is connecting the two of you together. Together. Let's give them a cut. Introduce them into the reading. Look at this. Temperance. Divine energy. Divine timing. And, you know, I love this image because you can actually see her. It's like she's mixing the waters of the soulmates. Um, I'm not really reading signs, just so you know, because I, I don't want to limit, limit it to, like, just certain signs. I, I just want you to be open. So... This is great energy. This is telling you divine is, you know, what was the question? The major arcana connecting the two of you. Temperance. Divine timing. You know, and that's another thing with temperance is, again, you can let go of control because you will be guided. Like, I'm very clear about that. Let's go ahead and take one more. We have the moon. Interesting, because I feel like some of you, um, it's funny how I was just talking about planetary action. And I feel that um, it's almost like a pull to each other. You know, the moon can certainly represent uncertainties. So because we have two twos here and a one, you know, maybe this isn't something we need to rush. Um, but the moon is also very dreamy energy. And I feel both of that. You know, sometimes I got to be okay with not knowing exactly where something is going to lead. Um, though, I just have to say, I feel like it's going to be pretty clear. I do feel like it's going to be pretty clear. So temperance, mirroring temperance, that makes sense. Three of Pentacles, each of you being able to recognize the other's soul, your individuality, and loving each other because of who they are. The only energy I feel where the human mind may get involved, or let's say the free will, um, really I feel the human part of us, because remember, we're spiritual beings having human experiences. And when we remind ourselves of that, then we tend not to get stuck in energy. Like, wait a minute, I'm this spiritual being. What am I doing being stuck in this toxicity? What's the sense? Hmm. All right. So we're going to bring the gilded trail and we're going to go below it. I'm glad I did this reading. Um, I do want to bring in a couple romance angels out. And we'll just put them at the top of the table. Or the head of the table. And let's go ahead and cut them. Introduce them into this beautiful reading.
And um, look at this. Very soon. Well, that's why someone's heart should... That's why I'm saying someone, but I feel like if you're here, chances are, you know, you feel that there's a soulmate out there for you. Like you just have this feeling. So very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I'll have to say that makes sense with the Six of Swords here again because the moving on. Um, and that may be part of what Divine is waiting for. You know, like Temperance is about patience. Um, and it's asking us to have patience for divine timing. But judgment being here is bringing us to the current moment. So I do not feel like this is far off. Really, I don't feel like it's far off at all. And it's saying very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Now, I don't think that means like in, you know, like the nationality or what the person looks like. It's more the type of energy. Well, it's saying, I want a soulmate. Spirit guides, I want my soulmate. All right. I don't want to, I'm not going to take all those, but. And then we have, hello, worth waiting for. Look at this. Divine timing is in is at work in your love life. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Well, yes, it is. Two cards that speak about exactly that. Divine timing. Judgment, which is giving us uh, a time frame, calling you to the present moment. But again, that Six of Swords is right before that. You know, very soon, I feel like it can be. But I feel like looking at that Five of Swords, understanding again, what's toxic to me? Who's toxic to me? Are my own thoughts toxic to me? You know, it's just having that clarification and then moving on from that. And I feel like that's what opens, well, opens up divine timing. So, worth waiting for. Very soon, worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. A hundred percent, I agree. All right, so I just want to take the Gilded Tarot right below, but wow. This, just, I mean, hello, Clarity. Let's give them a cut. Um, and while we're at it, let's just go ahead and look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Three of Swords. Okay. So, I feel like that Three of Swords, which is, it talks about heartache and loss. This could be, you know, you know, sometimes I feel like, um, um, what was I going to say? Like, you know, past relationships where, you know, we did get our heart broken. Sometimes we can get stuck in that energy. And I feel like that, again, is what the Six of Swords is talking about. So previous heartache. But, listen, even if I still have a little of that heartache, but this starts to open up, I feel like that heartache is just going to fade away. And, hello, awareness. Wow. I mean, wow. Keep saying wow because I don't know that this could be any clearer. And um it definitely fits with the energy I was I was feeling in the beginning of the year. All right. We have the nine of cups. Nine of Cups, um, great energy. <clears throat> For some of you, you can talk about singular, 
like becoming single. Um, but this is not, you know, if I'm single, I'm not like, I'm not really crying about it. Not even, don't even know that I'm that sad about it. This is someone who really is learning to enjoy their life. Um, I feel like there's a lot of gratitude in this energy. This is about inner harmony. Um, but it's also about fulfillment of wishes. Wow. For some of you, you know, I feel like the single energy is really what it's about. Um, again, that heartache and loss. This is where I'm no longer allowing it to affect me. And that may be what divine is waiting for. Raise a cup in celebration. Well, hello, Ace of Cups. Wow. Over the Two of Wands. Right next to the Nine of Cups. By the way, you take that Nine of Cups, you add that Ace of Cups to it, and it becomes the Ten of Cups. That is the house of love, the house of harmony. And it feels, you know, it's like Temperance is saying... You know, it's important for you to find this inner harmony first. Um, now, it doesn't have to mean everything is perfect in your life. In the Nine of Cups, that doesn't mean that, like, my life is perfect. It just means the things that used to affect me, I've taken that power away from it. Um, this Ace of Cups, this is unconditional love. Like, this love has followed you. And, um, you know, I often feel like this, well, this feels predestined, to be honest with you. And because it feels predestined, that means that you will meet in a specific time. You know, like it's meant to happen. This love has carried over. This love will never go away, by the way. It'll never go away. Ace of Cups. Unconditional love. It may be important that you love yourself first and foremost. Right, pick these up. All right, they're all reversed. All right, we have the five of wands over that seven of cups. We have the ten of swords. I guess everything can't be all pretty. You know what I mean? But then we have the high priestess. This is your intuition. This is where you're going to feel those signs. You know, instinct. Trust that. Again, a day may come where, and it may be a, you know, I get this feeling that the day that this happens for some of you, um, you would not call it your best day. Even though we do have the Nine of Cups, again, inner harmony, I still feel like, you know, the, the toxicity, well, here it is. You know what I mean? And this previous toxicity with the Five of Wands over the Seven of Cups makes me feel like it does have a little effect in your decision making. You know, I know the one thing you don't want to repeat, and that is, again, energy well the three of swords like i don't want to go through that again well this doesn't feel like that level this feels like a much higher level um but i also got to bring my own vibration up to that level and that's what the nine of cups is even though it doesn't mean everything in my life is perfect i'm finding this inner harmony within myself and that feels like what opens everything up Again, the heart chakra is being activated. This is about patience, but patience while certain elements are being dealt with and probably moved on from. Again, this is saying that this is worth, wor wait, uh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. We see that they're mirroring each other. And that's exactly what I would expect in a soulmate reading. Mirroring of energy. I wouldn't even be surprised that 
when this starts to come about, that um, there are similar life stories. You know what I mean? Like both of you have dealt with similar um, situations. Maybe both of you have dealt with like toxic relationships in the past. You know, when I do a soulmate reading, the one thing I always feel is this sense of longing. Now, it doesn't mean that I haven't been in love before, because again, there's different levels to love. And, there's, you know, you should have, you should be in love, right? You should have loved before, um, because it teaches us so much. Sometimes it teaches us exactly what we, what we don't want. Sometimes it teaches us that we've been in a repeat pattern with someone, and we just had to learn to break that, right? Break that cycle and let the new cycle open up. This can talk about, you know, dealing with people who have a lot of drama attached to them, a lot of ego attached to them. You know, like, let's say, like, some of you got stuck with a narcissist. You know, what can I do to better my life if I've been stuck with a narcissist? I feel like really one of the only things you can do is move on from it. I don't feel like you can change those type of people, but I don't feel like you're here to change them. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe it's just to recognize that. Because I feel like one, you know, I only need to be with a narcissist once to um, know that energy very well. So if for some reason, like that type of energy came back again, and it, it's not going to, but if it did, I would recognize it so quickly, you know, and be proud of yourself for that. Because this is about learning you know, learning through these difficult lessons. But this itself is such a beautiful reading. You know, your soulmate subconscious thoughts about you. You get divine. You get passion ignited. And very soon. And then it moves right into the Ace of Cups. With the two, the two of Wands right there. You know, when I see like the Two of Wands... I feel like it's really representing the type of path you're about to walk down. Now, the Ace of Cups is like right there. So it is love and it's really unconditional love. And what does that mean? It means that, you know, just because we're soulmates doesn't mean there won't ever be any issues in our house. It just means that we don't run from each other. We work them out. You know, we don't put... um we don't put blindfolds on. We face whatever it is we need to face. And I feel clear, clearly and easily you're able to work any issues out. And that's if, but I'm, you know, this is, this is real life. So it, even the best of relationships can have like, you know, a few arguments here and here, here and there. Um, but I do feel like for some of you, you, you were in a repeat pattern with someone who probably broke your heart over and over. And that feels like it needs to be cleared. Again, not trying to project this too far out in the future. Why? Well, because judgment talks about living in the present moment. You know, first of all, it's calling you to the present moment. But it's also about living within that present moment. You know, in the present moment is where your seeds should be. Like, that's where you should be putting your seeds. But also, that's, again, where your spiritual team sends you signs, gives you the guidance. Um, because remember, you're not here alone. Even when you feel alone, your spiritual team is always with you. I simply feel like this is saying that just be ready. You know, be ready. And again, I feel like for some of you, a little bit of a clue is it may not be on your best day. It could be a day where you feel like everything is going wrong. And then lo and behold, some way, somehow, the two of you meet. Intuition. This is what you want to trust. 
because you are being guided here. And what a lovely love reading this turned out to be. This person, they're going to love you for exactly who you are and you them. Where I felt like in the past, that may not have been the case. But this is not about the past. This is about the present moving forward. You know, I love the romance angels too. When is it going to happen? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that's why that six of swords is right before judgment. That is the energy. That's the clearing that needs to happen. And again, it can be my own thoughts. But the thoughts feel like it would be because of something of the past. Bring your attention to the current energy. And then worth waiting for. Divine timing is in work. Is at work in your love life. Hello, divine timing. Both sides mirroring each other. The beautiful Ace of Cups. Unconditional love. Follows that Nine of Cups. So that inner harmony, important. Some of you may have been single for a little while. Um, but again, I don't feel like... I know what I was saying early, like earlier, like, you know, sometimes we're in like relationships and you do fall in love. I know I have. Um, but then there was still like this, this feeling of where you, mm, as hard as you try, you just couldn't feel 100% complete. Well, this is about completing you. You know, you are each other's mirror and you are mirroring each other. So we got to put the past in the past. You know, heart chakras are being activated. Third eye, um, your third eye is being activated. Moving on from what was and allowing what wants to be. You know, I love that the Ace of Cups is also here. Unconditional love. And again, those wedding rings kind of sticking out from past love. That tells me that not only were you in love in a past life, but you had a true commitment. So, is that worth waiting for? I think so. I think so. You know, and how long? It says very soon, but let's be real. Like, how long? Well, I feel like everything has to do with that Six of Swords. It's when I'm able to just look around, understand, who and what has become toxic to me? What could potentially be holding, you know, great love back? Even am I holding great love back? And again, not projecting yourself too far out in the future. Because this is about present moment energy. But it's like enjoying every day. And if there is a day with issues, once you're connected, again, these two souls are going to work it out like they will love each other for exactly who they are and i often feel like soulmates like the soulmate that is really meant to be with me for for the rest of my life i feel like we help heal those broken little pieces of, pieces of each other you know what a reading what a reading. Um, I always let my guides like guide me towards what type of reading I should do. And this is this is even I've been doing some different formats lately. So this is a little bit of a different format. Um, but I kind of love it. I love what it brought out. I hope you can see what it's saying, right? Divine timing. Patience first, right? Patience, but it was, but it's worth the patience. It's worth waiting for. Judgment, just need you in the present moment, my dear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you signs. I'm gonna send them signs, and then I'm gonna help bring the two of you together. And by the way, if you miss a sign. Another sign will be sent. 
Like that, that's what divine timing is all, really all about. Temperance is all about. It's the ability and the willingness to let go of control of exactly how something must be. And instead, going with what divine has in mind. I mean, hello. You loved in a past life. You're going to love in this lifetime. And you're probably going to love in a next. Now, that's not guaranteed. You know, a soulmate doesn't have to come into every lifetime. It's really kind of up to us. But I feel like I feel like we need the card calling in your soulmate because that's what it feels like. Okay, guys. Wow. Um, you know, I'm not even going to try to ever clarify this because I feel like it's so clear. It's so simple. Though I say simple. You know, it's after the fact, like after the breaking of patterns, after the realization of what's toxic, the willingness to like step into the new, even not knowing exactly where it's going to take me. But what am I doing here? I'm putting my trust within divine. I'm putting my trust within my spiritual team. And I love that it says truth. Now, that to me means this is your true soulmate on a romantic level. I feel like I need to make that clear because, again, we meet plenty of soulmates. I feel like we're all one big soulmate family. But this is your romantic soulmate. Heart chakras are being activated. It just feels like it's coming together. Um and again, I'm not going to ever clarify it. I'm going to leave it there. I feel like it came out just as it was meant to. I feel like it's quite beautiful. So as always, I thank you guys. I thank you for allowing me to do these type of readings, you know, just out of the blue. This came to me and even the format, just like out of the blue. And I just listen. I just listen because I allow myself to be an open vessel for you um, because I read through our spirit guide. So very clear. Going to let that be. Cannot wait to hear your comments. Um, some of you may have already connected and, you know, that's where I feel like the comment section helps. I know I have. Um, and listen, it was 40 years before we really connected. So you just never know. I didn't know. I didn't know that one faithful day, and now we live together. So you just never know. But trust. Trust the divine timing is at work in your love life. That's exactly what it's saying, and everything supports that. I love you guys. I thank you as always. Um, yeah, I thank you. And you know what I, I, for some reason, I feel like saying, if you watched this reading, but you had like so many expectations, try to go back and watch it like with a clear mind, with, with, without really putting expectations on it. Just, just see if you can pick up different messages that way. This is really quite beautiful, but definitely is showing us that we had to deal with the past also. And that's just life. You know, we got to learn how to close these chapters. We got to learn where we've been in repeat patterns and not blame ourselves, right? Just see it, understand it, and move on from it. And again, for some of you, I feel like sometimes, I feel like you may have been in a repeat pattern because you just never felt that true fulfillment. Well, my loves. This is true fulfillment. All right. And here I am still talking. I love you guys. I thank you. Um, by the way, happy October. I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.